Tina Tato Katsur, um, this is Kahau Eat Dao Challenge number four. Um, but before I jump into that, I just wanted to um, go back to number three last night um, where I referred to people and just want to say that this 12 week course is um, worth seven and a half thousand dollars, but these um, five challenges that I'm doing now is an application for a scholarship to cover all of those costs um, and I've had a lot of fun with this um, application so far because I feel like I've learned a lot about myself so it's a lot more than just going into this e-commerce course for 12 weeks um, and I feel like I'm getting a lot of personal development out of it as well so yeah I think it is really awesome if you are going to look into it Anyway, um, challenge number four is um, learning to say no. Um, and it was a bit tough being in lockdown, you know, so I have been home all day. Um, and I've had minimal contact with other people. Um, my house has actually been quite quiet because um, I have been in a bit of a mood today. Um, but, case pie. Um uh, so it was about saying no to every little thing that was asked of me today um, and there were times where I did get to say no um, and I thought it was going to start some scraps but um, yeah it w I didn't f I don't feel like I put it into practice enough because not a lot was asked of me which was quite nice um, anyway I have been by myself for about an hour now um, and have had the opportunity to um, really think about um, times that I have had to say no and felt uncomfortable about it or um, wanted to say no and didn't and how I felt about it. So um, one thing that I've learned today since, you know, re reflecting on my previous experiences um, is that I explain myself a lot when I'm don't actually need to so that is one thing that I really want to um, work on and pull back on is my explanations I need to learn to be okay with saying no um, and not giving a big story as to why I can't um, because I should be able to say no just because I want to say no um, and that should be enough um, but because I am such a deep feeler and I care a lot um, about those in and a part of my life. Um, I f feel really guilty when I say no. Um, and yeah, feel quite responsible. If if I was to say no then, and someone else couldn't do it for them, then I feel like that's on me. Um, so firstly, I feel like I need to remove that, remove my explanations and realise that if I'm busy, then I'm busy. There's, I can't be everywhere at once. Um, and also I've learned that I need to be a bit more selfish and um, put myself and my well-being first um, and not overfilling my plate with too much and committing myself to all of these different things um, when... You know, I'm just burning the candle at both ends. What are all these cliches that are coming through? Um, but yeah, um, that was today's challenge. Um, it is definitely something that I want to continue to um, put into practice over the next few days and hopefully become more conf confident and comfortable um, with saying no to make it just a natural habit um, with, you know, just saying it. Not just for the fun of it, but when I feel like I need to. Um... But yeah, that was challenge number four, um, and we'll be back tomorrow probably with challenge number five. Hi, geeks.